Welcome back to Eternal Darkness. Uh, I think we're going to pop back this way because we've come in a bit of a circle. I was quite tempted to begin that video and it was just black. And the joke would be, welcome to Eternal Darkness, and then it's just dark. <laughs> and then I thought, I shouldn't do that. So I didn't, as you can see. Yes, we didn't get, we haven't explored some of these rooms with previous characters. Which, to be fair, is probably how the game keeps it fresh. Have we never been in here before? I'm pretty sure we haven't. Though, at uh, the Forbidden Corridor place, when we were Bianco or Bianchi, that uh, looked kind of similar to that. It had sort of the mosaic-y tiliness. Mm. But not quite the same place, no. Yes, I think the only way we can go forward now is climbing down here. So we shall. Oh, oh this is a blue corridor. Does that mean we're going to kill the big monster, which is undoubtedly here? Perhaps. Or should we skip him as well? No, we should probably kill him. Okay. If I may make a suggestion, we should leave and do some preparatory spells. Okay. We should wait until we've climbed the ladder before doing any preparatory spells so can it I works. Can I do it now? What, you can? <laughs> you can sneak it right in there as he's getting up. I've, I, I, I didn't think that would work. Because yes, usually it uh, punishes you for him moving. Oh, I could also double check uh, that I'm fully reloaded, which I'm not. We still have plenty of ammo. You could also switch mode. Oh yes, because I've been in a single mode. Go. No, and then finally, well. enchant the weapon. And that's probably all you need. Is that all we're going to go for? You could do a shield as well, I guess. We shall see. If I do, I might. Did you make sure to do that as quickly as possible so it might not work? What? Well, you do sometimes. Shield. So I do occasionally cast the wrong spell. No, we don't quite have the right amount of magic. Let's see if we can't get it. Surely that's enough. Do you get more magic if you run or if you walk? Is it the same? I'm pretty sure it's the same. It's just I think it looks nicer to run because it feels like you're doing something. <laughs> yeah, but it tires you out as well. Mm, this is true. Yep, stay behind him. Ah. He went down much, much quicker than that last one, actually. It's possible he was already damaged, maybe, or I was just more lucky with my shots. Okay, okay, okay. Enchant the flashlight. Shouldn't I kill him first? Well, yeah. <laughs> that was excessive. Enchant item. Oh, what colour, what colour, what colour? Purple. I like purple. Flashlight. It's all the way down there. It's the most important thing to do in any playthrough of Eternal Darkness. <laughs> See, it's purple! Quite purple as How well. cool is that? We've got a purple light and a green gun. I won't bother finishing him. I've got full sanity thanks to my uh, manta rock thing over both my head. Oh gosh. Get the correct spell this time, which is magical attack. Perfect. Clearing a room mm. full of trappers. That's where we were when there was a, a horrible little trap here for a zombie. It's all gone now. You can only go through here, so let's go through here. Yeah. We had all these zombies. You know, you probably don't need to so slavishly it is useful. behead all of them. You mostly do it for comedy effect, though, don't you? 
Oh, you can hit multiples though, that's really useful. Oh dear. You, you finish them off. Is that they done? Should I sort back to single shots? Um, tempted to say you shouldn't bother. Well, that's a bit of a waste <laughs> when that happens. Okay, what have we got in here? Oh, bleeding walls for one. Uh, a strange obelisk made from dark granite-like material, blocking the way forward, impervious to all damage. It does have a three-point marker. There a door here? Innocuous panel. Conspicuously wall. empty. It looks like a door, though, really. Might I suggest reveal invisible on the wall? Or are you going through the door first? I'll go through the door that's actually here first. Oh he had yeah. quite a scary face. Yeah, we got a, a really good look at his face. He that was time. like, Arr. Because uh, you usually have a, a top-down view of them, so you don't really get to see them. Rawr. It's rather grotesque. Oh. That was just a head there as well. Yeah, they just they sort of leave bits of them behind for a while. It's gone now. There we go. Oh, I'll just reload. But uh, this looks awfully familiar. I've got a bast relief of a sorcerer casting a spell. He's blue? Yep, blue magic. A proud warrior. Physical force. And a female scholar who's green. Now, weirdly enough, our little things don't look like this. No. Because that looks like what the warrior looks like. But the other two have sort of... Uh... Well, the idea is, is that rather than what you normally do, which is cast the dominant spell, those are the dominant ones, and the figures are the defeated versions. So blue defeats... Red. So we put that down. He's bowing in defeat. Yes, and green defeats blue... So we put down blue. And we know green defeats blue because we've been using green <laughs> magic <laughs> this whole time, yes. To uh, it's challenge like they've got tentacles coming out of their belt or something weird. And then we have the final one. Quite nice that it shows you where it's opened up. Yes. Uh, a crueler game would simply open it and then not <laughs> tell you where it was. Now, I think we're going to pop back for that since that's the extra before we advance any further. It's just in here. Let's go down here. Michael. What? <laughs> yeah, that is kind of creepy, but here we go. Enchanted Gladius. Energy rides across its surface. And that means that during the final battle we don't have to keep enchanting our bloody weapon. Destined owner, the Guardian of Light. Yeah, we can't actually use it. We can just carry it onwards. Poor Michael. And we'll head back. What should we do first? The door or the obelisk? I suspect that the obelisk is the way forward. Don't quote me on that though. <laughs> it's hard to tell sort of what part of the room we're in. I don't think it's on the map anyway. 
No. Okay. So we should do a reveal invisible here. Well. Mm, yes. Okay. Do a reveal invisible first. Where is it gone? I've got quite a few spells now, so it's hard to tell what tier. Uh, let's go with a three because it might work. Green. Yeah. Sure. No. <laughs> Is it just that there used to be one there? Maybe that's it. Maybe there's nothing there. <laughs> Maybe then. It's just it says it's conspicuously empty. But that might just be because we've seen it before. But uh, enough messing around with that. That's the end of the episode. We'll see you again next time.